What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take care of a Tokei Gecko. Um, I've had my Tokei Gecko for a couple months now, and uh, they're definitely not a very difficult pet to, to keep. Um, good one for beginners with a couple of conditions that I'll get to in a little bit. Um, the main drawback from owning a Tokei Gecko is you pretty much cannot handle it. Um, I mean, like, as in, like, hold it. Um, because they are very fast and they can be very aggressive. Now, obviously, there are exceptions to this. Um, I, there's uh, plenty of people who have tamed their Toke geckos, but these are people who tend to be very knowledgeable in uh, the keeping of reptiles. So, it's kind of an expert only thing to attempt to tame a Toke gecko. Not to say that you couldn't do it, but that's just generally the people who can and can't do that. Um, but as far as owning one, you definitely don't have to tame it to enjoy your animal. Um, but the biggest drawback is that you cannot hold it. Um, so if you're looking for a lizard that you can hold, uh, look elsewhere. Um, that's all I can say. Um, but getting into it, um, as far as an enclosure that you're going to need for one of these guys, uh, this is a 15-gallon tank. And it is a good size for a young Tokei Gecko. It could even be used to accommodate an adult. But um, I like to give my reptiles a little more room, so I'm going to be upgrading him into a 20-gallon soon. Uh, which isn't a huge boost, but it gives him more, some more height. Um, so yeah. So basically, um, what their enclosure requirements are is that they are a tropical gecko. Now, this means, like all other tropical animals, excuse me, um, they need one of these. And you can see another one down there. Um, they need one of these. And what this does is that this sprays water, not very well apparently, um, into their enclosure. And I'm sorry, I'm speaking a little quietly. Um, this is done at night um, for reasons that I won't bore you with. but. Um, if you have some trouble hearing me, that's why. Um, I'll try and amp the audio up as much as I can in editing, but, um, sorry if you have some trouble. Um, so yeah, they require a high humidity, just like every other tropical animal. Um, it's not a difficult thing to do, it's just another task that you will be doing in order to keep your reptile happy. Um, so, uh, twice a day you're going to have to spritz them with water. To, in order to keep the humidity up. And that's a big problem a lot of people have is that um, sometimes they live in a very dry environment and keeping the, their reptiles humidity up is a, a challenge. So depending on how your house is or where you live you might need to spritz more than twice a day. Sometimes like if you're in some super humid area you might only need to spritz once a day. Like if your ambient humidity is 70 percent in your house uh, you'll be good. Um, but you still need to spritz the water because that's how they drink. Um, so, yeah, um, as far as a water bowl, which I'm branching off from that uh, spritzing, um, they really don't need one as long as you're spritzing them regularly. You can give them one just fine as long as they're a decent size so that they don't drown in it. Um, you can give them one. Um, I don't think they would uh, drink out of it, but who knows? They might, and they might like to soak in it um, when they're shedding. So if you want to give them a water bowl, there's definitely no reason why you shouldn't. Um, I don't, and I haven't had a problem because of it, but I do spritz very often, so yeah. Um, so as far as cage requirements, other than humidity, uh, you're going to want plenty of things for them to hide in and plenty of things for them to climb on. Um, they're very secretive, they're very skittish, they're very uh, uh, introversive. And they, they need things that they can get in and make themselves feel safe. So as you can see, I have this log here. He goes under the carpet. He goes all in this thing, which has a bunch of crevices and all sorts of stuff. And he goes in these plants. and um, Yeah, he has a trillion places where he can go. Um, as a result of that, I don't see him too often. But it just makes it all the more special when I do. Um, so, yeah. So... A general rule for uh, arboreal geckos, which uh, the toke is one, is that enclosures like this one are the best. Ones that are taller more than they are wider. 
So you should definitely consider that if you are considering getting a, a Tokyo Gecko. Um, it's fine to have them in an enclosure like this, but um, if you do want to get the absolute best experience for your gecko and you don't have any sort of budget or whatever, then definitely go for a tank that uh, is taller than it is wider. Um, yeah, so as far as feeding, um, very important subject, um, they are insectivorous strictly. Uh, they don't eat any vegetables or fruit. Um, I mean, at least it's not in their natural diet if you put one in. I don't know if they eat it or not, but there's no reason why you should. Um, they eat crickets. Um, they like crickets a lot, like every other reptile, it seems. Um, so that can be a good staple diet. Uh, they'll take dubia roaches. Um, I don't know if they'd take a pinky. I'm sure they would. I don't know how you would go about feeding it, but if you can figure out a way to feed them a pinky, it would, wouldn't be a bad treat to give them. So yeah, and whenever you give them an insect, you have to make sure that you dust them with calcium powder. Um, you can uh, go to your local pet store and pick up a can or a container, however they can, of calcium powder. And the best brand that you can get is RepCal. That's RepCal. Um, the pink labeled kind. That's the best you can get for them. Um, as far as lighting, you do not need lighting on them. They are a nocturnal gecko. If you want to put a light on them, um, feel free. Uh, just make sure their temperatures uh, stay correct. And speaking of temperatures, um, basically what they need is like around 80 degrees ambient. So they don't really need a basking spot of any kind. You can give them one if you want to, but I really don't think they'd use it. Um, feel free if you want to. Just make sure that it doesn't like raise the whole temperature of their tank to like 93, because that would be very bad. Um, and if you do, give them a basket, not the whole thing, like in the middle. Only one side. So they have a... They can choose if they want to be in a warm area or not. So, yeah, um, they're definitely not very complicated pets to keep. Um, if I forgot anything, um, or if you want to make any comments on anything, you feel free to, uh, speak up in the comments section. Um, if you have any questions, I will definitely answer them. I read every single comment, um, so even if it seems like a stupid question, I'll answer it. Um, so any questions you might have about anything, I'll answer. So yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much how you take care of a toe kick gecko. Um, if you want to handle it, uh, <laughs> uh, good luck, <laughs> that's all I could say. Um, so yeah, um, definitely not a bad pet to keep, they're very beautiful. Oh, and um, one thing to note is that they do get very large, they can get like around a foot long uh, snout to tail. Um, very big. I think they're the second largest species of gecko in existence. Uh, right behind the lychee geckos. So, um, so yeah. And they do... Oh, I forgot about this. Um, the reason they're called toke geckos is because they actually make a sound. And it sounds like toke. Um, you can look up videos. It's actually really cute. But uh, um, I it might only be males that do that, but um, I, I really don't know. Um, I've never heard mine do it, but mine's still juvenile, so um, I don't mind noise because I have lots of animals in my room that make noise. I kind of find it uh, peaceful, but if you're somebody that needs absolute silence and you're playing and keeping it in your room, uh, don't get one of these. Um, so yeah, or it, it, you could still get one if you like silence, just don't don't keep it in your room. So yeah, uh, that's it. That's Toka Geckos. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna have a um, August reptile whole collection video coming soon as soon as I can find a good day to record it on or not I don't know if I said August or July but it's coming in August um, early August so you can look you guys gonna expect that soon uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one I lost my will, baby.